So how do we attach a sound file to an animation to give it this, you know, special sound effect? So we have a very simple example here. This is the animation in preview. Yeah, so that looks okay. And it's okay like that. But if we want to give it just a little bit of a layer, a little texture underneath it, a kind of cinematic flair, very subtle, we could add a sound effect. So for that, we downloaded the sound files from Motion Array. A lot of people like to use uh, Pixabay. Pixabay also has a lot of great free uh, sound effects. So the easiest way is just drag and drop. So Here's our sound file, and we want this to be in sync. And it looks like it's an image, but we won't see that when we actually play the, the uh, slide. And you can test it. Yeah, that's the one we want. And you can even edit it a little bit. At least you can control the volume and the trim. You can make it shorter or longer. And sometimes that's really important, as I'll show you later, for lining up things. But anyway, right here now it's order two, and our text is order one. So that's no good. So what is the key? This is the magic right here. The build order. This is where it all happens. This is where dreams come true. So as you see, we have the two animations. Well, not animation. It's, the sound is like an animation. It's going to be an animation. It's going to start. But it's going to start when we want it to. Not on the click. Not on the second one. But we want it to be with build one. So now these are together. So when we play this, it should look something like this. Yeah, so that was much better. So that's just with one animation. We could do it with more animations. For example, this one, as you can see, so the title comes in and then the audio starts at the same time, same one. Then we can do another click, but the audio will start at the same time. And build number five, if we click here, it says with build five, right? So that's build five, but the sound is going to be with build five. So it looks something like this, right? There's the title and then we can bring in book one, bring in another book, have these subtle sound effects. So that's it. Basically, you know everything you need to know. So when you want to have a sound file, you can just drag and drop. Just bring it in and then use the build order to line up and sync the animation with the kind of sound that you want to go with it. So that's really all you need to know. But please stick around if you want to see more examples. So let's say, for example, we're talking about our, our football team. And this year, we thought we were going to be great because of, well... That's what we thought. So notice this is an anvil animation. So I had different layers of the anvil animation. So the, the dust kind of settled. Uh, the defense, boom, it hit the turf right with the sound effect. And then there's a sound out. So we thought it was going to be a great defense, but yeah, jubilation fades. So let's look at another example. For example, maybe uh, talking about this car and some of its, uh, well, let's talk about how fast it goes. So that is a skid animation, and then we had the tire screeching. It's just a sound effect. So if we look at the build order, you can see it's just the word speed coming in. One of them is opaque, so we can see, opaque, sorry, it's hard to say. Uh, so we can see speed, but the other one's the transparency. They're 100% transparent, but we get to still see the skid effect. So these were longer, like that was over seven seconds, that's five seconds, and the first one is one and a half seconds. So it just allows that smoke to kind of linger and move across the screen. Okay, let's look at another example. So this one could be an environmental, maybe, or something about the future. We all would like to avoid this kind of future, kind of like in the Back to the Future 2, was it? <laughs> Dystopia. So we go from this to... Yeah, we don't want this. So this looks like something from a film or some kind of fancy special effect, but it isn't at all. It's just Keynote. And then if we look at the build order, you can see that actually it's all with one build. It's one build order. So the sound comes in. The word dystopia was not an animation. It was not a build in. It's just already there. As you can kind of see over here, we went from this image, this one to this one. But the audio started boom right when we went from this one. We went to this one and the audio, this sound effect. This kind of scary sound effect started immediately. And then all these rectangles are, are just the skid, the skid uh, special effect that kind of at different times so that they go across the screen. And then the word dystopia fades out by expanding. So that's a build out effect. And it's not a separate animation. It's part of the same build, but it has a three second delay. So you can see that down there. So you can have a uh, timing on it. So let's look at that again. So we go from here, we go from this. <laughs> So notice how the skid effects kind of come across there. And the person is in the foreground with the smoke in front of him. So how we did that, or how I did that, who's we? But anyway, 
So uh, this is just, uh, if you go to format and image, you can remove the background. So when it's something like this, Kino just automatically kind of goes with th this shape. If it's a person or something really obvious in the foreground, it will just remove that. You could do that manually, but sometimes uh, Kino just does that. So in this case, that, that was perfect because that's what I wanted. All right, let's look at another example. So we go, let's say we're talking about, oh, it's an education presentation, something. So we go from the this and this is a title. And notice how the, the background went to blur, kind of like a Gaussian blur, so that we can see the text a little bit better. So how we did that is, again, we. Why do I keep saying we? How I did, how we, I guess we, it's you and me. We can all do it. Let's do it together. I'm try, that's what I'm trying to show you. So it's just the image twice, but the, the one of the images I put into Photoshop and put a Gaussian blur on it. If you're, using, if you're using PowerPoint, you wouldn't have to do that. But we can't do that directly in Keynote, which is not good. I wish they would change that. And if you look at the build, you can see that, yeah, these text boxes come in at the same time. Everything's the same time. It's all with build one. So this photo, which is a little bit blurry, comes in. It's all one effect. Like that. Okay, let's look at another example. So what is the most, one of the most popular drugs around the world? And it's illegal. Yes, of course, caffeine. And this is a good example of where I had to change the timing a little bit. So you notice that the word caffeine came down and hit the ground exactly at the time with a kaboom. But this sound kind of had a little, had a, it had a little shh thingy before it. So I had to go into uh, the sound under a format, audio format, and just change it, just trim it a little bit so that it would start a little bit in a little bit different place. It still started immediately, but it started in a little bit different place. So the timing would be where boom, it just came down like that. And notice how the smoke just lingers. Okay, here's another example using a song, so a music file with birds. Birds are a sound effects added over it. And then the word Oregon comes in, which had a subtle sound effect. And then the state, the beaver state. Okay, so if we look at that, we can see that we have here that the two songs started at the same time. Oregon comes in with a move in, move from left to right, not a lens flare. But I wanted a lens flare to kind of come in later, so I gave that a, that's an oval shape, but it's transparent, so you can't see it. But I wanted it to come in, so I had a move animation with a lens flare animation added to it at the same time and just made that object transparent. And then the audio was at the same time. This one's very straightforward. So we, let's say we're talking about the stress and its uh, effect on creativity, or you know, it dulls our creativity or something like that. So we want to break the stress. You know, we just want to punch it. Let's get rid of that stress, open up our minds. So how we did that? It just starts with that the gray and the black and white rather uh, image of the brain. And then if we look at the build order, stress. The only animation is you know it starts with the gray and the word stress. So the animation is uh, build out, crumble, and then with a sound effect of the crumbling rocks. And then at the same time, as you can see over that black and white image, the color image of the, the same image, but so it's exactly in the same place, but it's a color image, and that's with a wipe. And so you get this effect. Those are two, two animations at the same time with that sound effect as well. And the last one. Yeah, maybe science teachers could do something like this, or professors talking about the different planets, that they had a very large screen. Or they could do this for their videos as well. You could do something like this. You could build it in Keynote and then export it as a video as you're introducing the planet. Right in the background, is still moving. It also has the animation with it. And yes, uh, Venus is uh, spinning. It's actually spinning the wrong way, but... That's, that's a test to see who's paying attention. And then the text can come in. Oh, now it's turning the right way, finally. <laughs> that was a trick question. So the key thing with doing animations like this with sound effects is, you know, moderation and discretion. You're not going to use them just willy-nilly. Use them sparingly, but they can be very effective, I think, if they're kind of cinematic, a little bit, you know, subtle. 
not gimmicky, not like, you know, we had with PowerPoint 20, 25 years ago. Remember when they could do the fing, fing, fing. We're not going to do that. But think about ways you could use uh, subtle sound effects to uh, create interest and engagement 